This video is about creating crowds in Blender. Crowds in computer graphics are systems which allow us to populate a scene with a large number of actors. And the individual characters in a crowd are not meant to be the main focus of a scene. You can think of them like extras in a live action movie. Crowd simulation systems can vary in complexity, from very simple ones where the characters just idle around, a more complex example would be characters walking along a path. And finally, we have very complex simulations, which are a bit like an AI system in a game. So you can let two armies storm at each other, and as they clash, the system decides how they fight, who dies, etc. And that is based on parameters in the crowd system. Big productions usually use dedicated crowd software, such as Massive, Golem, Houdini crowds and more. But what can we do just using Blender? Simple solutions for characters who just stand around or move in a relatively simple pattern can be created in Blender without any add-ons using the old particle system or the new geometry nodes. I'm going to share links to good tutorials about these techniques in the video description. Using geometry nodes, you may even be able to create a more complex crowd system but it would require a lot of work and skill. And that's why we have add-ons that offer us ready-made solutions. If you need to do complex crowd simulation with actors who interact with each other and the environment, your best bet seems to be the Crowd Sim 3D add-on. It has a free demo version and the full version will cost you 200 euros. I'd love to try this add-on in the future, but currently I have no experience with it. And finally, there are two add-ons on the Blender market, Procedural Crowds and Horde, which are very affordable and they will help you create flocks of characters that stand around, cheer, walk or run. And that's more than enough for most productions. Both add-ons are very easy to use and I have in-depth tutorials for each of them. You'll find a link to these videos in the description box. Each add-on has its strengths and weaknesses, so please watch the tutorial videos to find out more. I hope this overview video has been useful. Please click like and subscribe with the All option to get notified for future videos.